Welcome to the wacky world of speed and acceleration in Crossout. I'm your host, Dangerously Incompetent. Now a viewer asked me to explain speed and acceleration and how engines affected these two values. He was a bit confused. Uh, to be honest, I'm a bit confused. I'm pretty sure some parts of this speed and acceleration equations aren't working as intended and there's certainly very little in the user interface to tell you what's going on. So I will now impart to you the wisdom of the ancients sorry, I mean my understand, my limited understanding of speed and acceleration and cabins and engine power and wheels and mass and all the rest of it as it applies in Crossout. But first, an experiment. I'm going to show you two builds. One of them has an engine, one of them does not have an engine. And I want you to tell me which one accelerates the fastest. So here's build number one. Let's take it for a test drive. My finger's on the button. Pedal to the metal as fast as we go. Go, 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 go. Have we reached top speed? I think we have. It's a bit hard to tell because there's no speedometer. But, well, that's the first one. Let's go back. Let's load... where's he gone? Load up the second one. And remember, identical apart from an engine. Let's test drive this one. Pedal to the metal again. Have we reached the top speed? Uh, I think so. So... Which one was fastest? Was it the first one? Was it the second one? Now I think I can tell the difference, but then I already know the difference. I know which one has the engine and which one doesn't. So that may be leading me to believe I can tell the difference when in fact I can't. And the answer is, I think this one is the fastest one. Well, not the fastest one, the one that accelerates the fastest, because it has the Colossus. Let's have a look at it. There it is. There's big old engine, the Colossus. So now we're in the build, we can see the acceleration. Oh, I can't hover over it. But bottom right of the screen, you can see acceleration. It's higher than speed. If we take the engine out, it drops. Put the engine back in again, acceleration goes up. Notice the speed stays exactly the same. Don't believe me? Let's, let, let's, let's look at it again. Take the engine off. Speed hasn't changed. Put the engine back in. Speed hasn't changed at all. Acceleration goes up and down with the engine. And this thing, ha well, I'm putting the Colossus in, so it's got more power, a bigger bonus to power than it has to speed. It's max speed plus 7%. Okay, let's, let's try a different engine, shall we? Uh, Cheetah, that's got the most difference in speed. The Cheetah engine is supposed to give you plus 20% maximum speed. Okay. Let pop you up. Oh, let's just shove you on the top. We don't need to hide away anymore. Boom! Well, the acceleration went up. I didn't see the speed go up. Yep. The speed doesn't change. I think it's broken. The max speed bonus for engines is broken. You can ignore it. It does nothing. Now what I think is supposed to happen, if we look at a cabin, you can see a cabin comes with an engine speed, a max speed and a power. I think when you put your cabin in, the speed of the vehicle is determined by the engine speed. And if you put an engine in, which has a bonus to your maximum speed, you could increase the speed of your vehicle up to the maximum speed. That makes sense to me, but it doesn't work. All that happens when you put your cabin in is the vehicle's ma maximum speed is set to the maximum speed of the cabin. Whether the engine you put in there, whether you put it in or a different engine, has no effect on the maximum speed of your vehicle. So it's not working, so you can forget about the engine speed rating 
on the cabin and you can forget about the maximum speed bonus on your engine. I'm guessing they're going to correct this at some point but until they do you can ignore those two values. Now there's another th other things that um, affect your acceleration and your speed. I've talk talked about the uh, maximum speed that comes off your cabin. That's it. Well, apart from two things. Right, let's, let's go through them. Uh, your driver skills can affect your, your top speed. And your tonnage can affect your top speed. More, uh, more on the tonnage. Oh, no, let's do the tonnage now. Might as well. Right, tonnage. If we look at a cabin, there's a stat called tonnage and there's a stat called mass limit. Now the mass limit is easy. That's the maximum mass you can have in the vehicle and that's determined, the base of it is determined by your cabin. Things like engines can change that, your driver skills can change that, and wheels can change that. They can increase or they can all increase it. You cannot build your vehicle heavier or more massive, more correctly, than the mass limit. Full stop. Tonnage is a bit more, more complex. You can build a vehicle that's heavier than your tonnage, but what happens is, once you're over the tonnage, your speed and your acceleration drop like a stone. Every increase in weight, over, every increase in mass over your tonnage is crippling to you. So don't do it. Can we show it to you? Yeah, let's show it to you. Uh, build, 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 build. No, whoops. Sorry, fat fingers. Right, where's the delete button gone? Yes, I want to get rid of him. Right. Let's try a new build. Let's put a frame in. Punk. Let's put another piece of frame in. Punk. Right now, we can set get could set wheels on there. Let's put a cabin in. Bonk. Right, so we've got an acceleration of pretty awesome, actually. Shame's got no wheels. And a, and a pretty top speed. And where's our tonnage? Well, you, you can guess your tonnage from the quantum, but when, whilst you're building, it doesn't tell you what your tonnage is. The only way to tell what your tonnage is, given your driver and given your cabin and given your wheels and given your engine, is to come into the garage rather than the build garage and look at the I button and then hover over your mass. Then it will tell you a tonnage. If mass exceeds tonnage 5000, that's my tonnage at the moment. So let's try and increase my tonnage over 5000. Show me truck doors, they're heavy. Let's put a few of them on. Oh, oh fat fingers. Now you can see as I'm adding these real, rather, really rather heavy components, my acceleration is dropping down. That's because my mass is increasing. I don't have any more of that. Still haven't gone over. Oh, train plow, that's heavy. No, still haven't gone over tonnage. Uh, what else is heavy? One, uh, half oars, they're also heavy. Okay, let's whack a few of these on, shall we? Bang. Forget the control button. There we go. See how the mass has turned yellow? That means I'm over my tonnage. And everything I add from here on in is going to significantly chain, reduce my acceleration and my speed. See? Bang. Can we put another? Oh, no parts left. In. Let's put something else on. <sighs> Large fender. Is that, is that heavy? 350 kilograms. Yeah, that's heavy. Let's put that on. So that's tonnage explained. That, that can only reduce your acceleration and your speed. You really don't want to exceed your tonnage. 
you can put your tonnage up by putting on wheels, especially big wheels. Let's say it's a, a medium wheel, and you can say you pick up, uh, there you go, medium. See the tonnage plus 750. So let's put one of those on and another one on. Oh, there we go. We've increased our tonnage over the mass of our vehicle. Now we're not suffering from over tonnage. Okay, we're not steering because neither of these are steering wheels. Uh, oh yeah, what's, what's the difference between a steering wheel and a, a non-steering wheel? Well, one will let you turn. Also, take note that this, the tonnage bonus for a steering wheel, say 415 for this medium one, is less than the tonnage, 750, for the non-steering wheel. That's why you don't want all your wheels to be steering wheels. So that's tonnage explained. What else did I want to... Uh, oh, wheels. Wheels also affect your acceleration. Really? You think more wheels, more grip, more acceleration? You'd be wrong. Let's load up one of these puppies. Watch my acceleration. As I say, take off a wheel. Doesn't matter which one, big one, small one, doesn't matter, so long as I don't exceed my tonnage. Acceleration has gone up. That's five wheels. Four wheels. Acceleration has gone up again, but I've exceeded my tonnage. So now I've got problems. Every wheel you add to your vehicle reduces your acceleration. That's not... That's, that's not exactly being shown very well. Let's go back to build. Get rid of this and start again. Let's start fresh. Where's my frame? Frame, posh, frame, whack them in. Put on a cabin. Right. Let's add some wheels. We'll put some steering wheels front and back, say. Pomp. You seeing the acceleration? Are you noticing it's dropping down every time, every wheel I put on there? The acceleration goes down. Oops. Put them a bit further apart so I can get the, the third wheel per side in. So the acceleration is dropping a little bit every time. So why would you have more than, you know, three wheels? That's the least you can have. Well, redundancy. If your wheel gets shots off, then, then ooh, you're in trouble. You're not steering so well. You're not balancing so well, part of your build frame is dragging on the floor. Plus you might have been taken above your tonnage, so you really slowed down, your top speed's dropped and your acceleration has dropped. That's why you want more than three wheels. My recommendation, six wheels is about right. Best steering and and best redundancy and least acceleration penalties. So that is the ooh, acceleration. We talked about the acceleration. We talked about being. We talked about the mass limit. We talked about tonnage. Now we get on to engines. Engines, engines, engines. I have mentioned that. Here we go. On, let's just have the engines up, please. Why aren't they coming up? Engines. Have I misspelled it? Yeah, probably. Oh, I'll put an S on the end. It's engine, not engines. Right, so these are all, all the engines. Pop, 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 pop. Is that right? So we've got seven of them. Let's have a look at the market. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. Good, right, we've got all of them. So, engines, you'll notice the engines have several things. Oh, let's, can we find some with all that? There we go. Some of them increase your tonnage. So they increase the practical mass limit of your vehicle. 
you can put more stuff on there without slowing down horrendously with particular engines. Some of them add to your mass limit, which is the absolute limit of your mass that your vehicle can have, how big you can go. They have a max speed bonus. Well, as I mentioned before, that doesn't do anything. It doesn't work. It has no effect, so you can totally ignore it. The power appears to. The power bonus seems to work because you put a powerful engine in, like the where's it gone? Colossus, plus fifty percent, and you can see your vehicle acceleration go up. And if you're you're perceptive, maybe you can actually see it in the effect in game. But the effect is 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 not great. It's not huge. Maybe it's bigger if your vehicle's really light. Let's try that. Let's try the Colossus. So you can see my accelerate or let's let's do a test run. Right. Test drive. Just the quantum and six wheels basically. Well it's quite fast, it's accelerating quite fast. Lovely. Right. Build. Let's pla slap a Colossus on that. And test drive. Oh, what happened? Did you notice what happened? I didn't notice what happened. Let's try again. Acceleration's gone up a teensy tiny bit. I, this is the the engine with the most power, and it's doing very little indeed. Try for test drive. Yeah, I can't tell the difference. Certainly not not even in a test drive I can't see the difference in the acceleration. And I would never see the different any difference in a in a battle. There's too much going on. So mm, yes, well where have we got back to. So those are the en where are the engines here. There are other stuff the other bits of the engines, there's a structure, while well, you can use them with armor. Because they're quite heavy structure, lot, quite a lot of structure for their mass, more than one to one. So you can use them as armor, except you can only have one. And then there's energy drain. Now that's that's the real penalty of engines. You've only got so much energy from your cabin and your generators, and you need to power all your weapons with that. So losing one point is is a significant problem. And then of course there's the mass of the engine. What's the mass of the What's the mass of Colossus? Where's my Colossus gone? 450 grams. Now that's going to slow you down and put you push you towards your uh, tonnage limit and your absolute mass limit quite a significant way on some of the lighter cabins. Let's try a lighter cabin, shall we? Growl. Light and fast, always has been. So what's my mass limit? Six thousand. If I stick this wacky colossus in there, four hundred fifty off six thousand. That's uh, that's coming towards twenty percent. Yeah. No, ten percent, eight percent. I think about eight percent of your mass limit. That's quite a lot. That's significant, and it doesn't add that much acceleration. So. Engines don't seem that good until you start seeing. No, oh, come here. Until you start seeing. Ooh, this extra special bit. Every 100 meter passed by the car, reduce remaining weapons and module cooldowns by 20%. So if I've overheated my weapon and I pass 100 meter, it. The time it takes to for my weapon to cool down enough so I can fire it again, reduced by 20. Oh, that sounds handy. Except I've tried tried it in test drives and I can't notice a difference. <laughs> I can't see any difference in, in this uh, this special effect. It doesn't seem to work. So are our engines worth it at all? Well, you ish a bit. There's the power bit. 
you do get more acceleration but it's not a huge amount and whether it's worth the energy drain of one point I mean there's some vehicles that I know some engines where they go 1.1 point, 1 point no hot red that was it hot red doesn't take any power not power energy it has other vehicle other engines have energy drains at one point hot red has no energy drain and you get 20% bonus to your power which means you're accelerating faster and the reload speed of modules and weapons is in, is increased now I have seen I have many well not perhaps a 10% the gold needle does it by 20% module turret and drone reload speed increased by 20% I use that on my race build because I'm using rocket boosters and they take time to recharge and reducing that time by 20% means yeah I go fast I go faster for long for more of the time so it's worth it there but it costs one point of energy whereas the red hot does not So that's the engines explained, and, the, uh, and it, it's, it's all rather confusing, and, and you're probably a bit confused, and maybe I'm not explaining it so well, and I'm going on a bit. There's one more thing that can affect your speed and your acceleration, and that's your driver. Let's have a look at the skills. Here we go. Uh, firstly, your driver can't. There's some. Oh, I forget which one it is. Someone somewhere. You can affect your speed and acceleration directly. But having the driver skill can increase it. But there's also increasing your tonnage. They can increase your tonnage, which means you could put more mass on there and not suffer the extreme slowdown for exceeding your tonnage. So drivers can help a little bit. Now, are engines worth it? Ooh, ooh, that's difficult. My recommendation for using engines is have all of them in storage and then when you're building a new vehicle pop them in one at a time, have a look what they do, take them out for a test drive, maybe you can test them in battle and see if you think it's worth it. It's, it's, it's trial and error is the way to go. You'll, you'll notice that I've got where have we gone? I've got all the engines in storage now so I keep don't, doesn't have an S on them yeah. so I can try them one by one but if you're starting out all these engines is a considerable outlay in your resources being the uh, purpley ones is yeah around 300 a time 300 coins a time starting out you don't have 1200 coins to pop up these four purples and then try which one you might be able to afford one so let's do a quick review of the different engines and I'll try and recommend one which is useful for you first off let's look at the hardcore if you can only afford one blue engine, I would go for the hardcore. Because it gives you some bonus, it gives you a mass limit, but uh, mass limit really isn't important. Tonnage is more important. But it gives you a bit more speed, uh, which doesn't work at all, it just gives you a bit more power. But it doesn't cost that m much in terms of mass. It gives you a bit of armour in terms of structure, and it gives you a bit of boost in your acceleration, so it's probably worth it but not above blue weapons, after blue weapons maybe. Dun horse, so your tonnage has gone up significantly, so, but it costs an energy drain, so probably worth it. If you're struggling with your tonnage, dun horse is the way to go. Razorback, doesn't help your tonnage at all. Best power boost of the blues, costs a power, costs an energy probably not worth it. The bonus of 30% power to your acceleration isn't going to be much 
and it costs you at one point of energy drain it's probably not worth it unless you've got a spare energy let's go to the purples cheetah now when I first thought, saw the cheetah I actually already had one and I had one in my vehicles and I just left it there because it seemed to be working alright I bought it before whatever it was called before the recent update but now, then I saw when I started looking at engines again, and I saw the the special effect. Cooldowns reduced by twenty percent. That's the one for me. I'm running machine guns on this build. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, except I can't see any difference for that special effect, so we've probably got to ignore that. But it does give a good tonnage increase. So if you're looking at, if you're struggling with your tonnage. This is probably worth it. And the power 20 plus 25 percent, yeah, that's good. And it costs an energy drain. Yeah, on on the whole, if you're struggling with tonnage, it's worth it. Otherwise, yeah, not really. Colossus. No tonnage increase. Costs of power. Weapon and missile load. Reload speed. So if you're using guns or rockets, and you're using a big vehicle. Uh, no, it's not worth it for being a big vehicle because it doesn't increase your tonnage and your tonnage is your practical limit to your mass. Cost and energy point gives you plus 50, gives you the best boost to your acceleration through power that you can get. Probably worth it if you're using guns and rockets. Golden Eagle, big boost to your power, not as much as Colossus, but pretty big. No tonnage bonus for speed, you can ignore. Energy drain of one point. It's worth it if you're using drones and modules. I, as I said before, I use it in my race build. I think it's just about worth it there. I mean, it's pretty heavy, 500 kilograms, but the the rate of use increase I get out of my rocket boosters means it's probably worth it just about hot red no power cost weapon and module reload speeds so that's your guns and your rockets and your boosters and yeah I'd say this one's worth it doesn't have a tonnage bonus but it's light, only 90 kilograms, it's got a bit of structure to it, gives you a bit of acceleration. Yeah. Overall it's worth it because it mainly because it doesn't cost you an energy point. That's the one I'd recommend for the purples. Unless you have specific needs that are addressed by one of the other three. That's a review of the engines. Now a conclusion. In conclusion, I may have misinterpreted or got it wrong about these engines and the cabins and the speed and the acceleration. I might have got it wrong completely. And even if I got it all right, it might change tomorrow on the next update when they correct things or just plain change stuff again. So my, my recommendation is have all the engines in in your storage and just try them one by one until you find the one that's best for you even if the best engine for you is no engine at all and the only hard and fast rule I can give you for, for building vehicles as regards acceleration and speed is never ever ever exceed your tonnage and just to remind you the only way you can tell what your tonnage is, is looking at in the garage, on the information tab, hover over the mass, and it will tell you. In this case, 59999. That's, your, that's my maximum tonnage for this vehicle. While you're building, if your mass turns yellow, you've exceeded your tonnage, you've got to take something off. I'm dangerously incompetent. I hope this, this guide has helped. Happy building.